Yo, what is going on guys? This is Snake Beater, back with a brand new video. Today guys, I'm going to be giving you five quick tips for World's Edge. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like button, comment down below, and please subscribe with your notifications on, that way you never miss an upload. For 2021, we're going to try our very best to see if we can hit 1k subs. A massive goal, I need all the support I can get, so if you do enjoy the content, please hit that subscribe button, it means the world to me. Apart from that guys, let's jump straight into the video. So, the first tip I am going to give you for World's Edge is pick a legend who you can reposition with, okay? So, you need a legend for the team who can reposition. Now, people that I would suggest obviously is Pathfinder, Wraith. Um, you can use Horizon now, uh, and also someone like Octane, okay? So it's the people that can take you to different parts of the map with ease. So for example, the reason why I now chuck Horizon into the mix as well as Octane and whatnot is because they can help you reposition to the high ground. Uh, people obviously like Pathfinder can zip you up to high ground. Wraith can reposition you to the high ground using portals. She can reposition you to low ground with portals. It's things like that that are very useful in the team and especially with World's Edge with the different heights in different areas. You definitely need to have someone that can reposition the whole team. So I highly recommend that one. Please make sure you've got someone that can reposition. Tip number two, don't land fragment unless you want kills. Now, Fragment is the center of the map. It is the hotspot of World's Edge. Now, if you are looking for kills, 100% go there because honestly, you will get kills. You will get kills after kills after kills or you'll get third partied, one or the other. So if you are looking for that type of, you're trying to get your high kill game, you're trying to get a high damage, then definitely recommend you going to Fragment. But if you're trying to get a W, you're trying to win the game, then I definitely recommend you land somewhere else. More, I say, the outskirts of the map or just somewhere quieter. Um, there's no, nothing wrong with, you know, starting with a fight. But when you land Fragment, you have one fight and then another fight and then another fight. And then when you think you're safe, you're grabbing all your loot, Another team rotates to Fragment and you get another fight. It always happens, you know, it is the hotspot of World's Edge. So if you want kills, go there. But if you're not looking for kills, you're looking for the Ws, please do not go Fragment. Tip number three, use survey beacons as much as possible to know where that future end circle will be. Now, as I mentioned about the fact that World's Edge has lots of different heights, lots of different positioning, it's very key for you to get that end circle position early normally as it is for brs whoever gets the best position earliest wins unless there's a massive fight on that area okay it, it always happens okay it's all about positioning okay it happens in the pro games it happens in just norms ranked people want to know where the final circle is and if they get that position they know they win so honestly i would recommend you using the survey beacons as much as possible of course you can use pathfinder Bloodhound and Crypto. Those are the three legends that can use them. Highly recommend doing it. Pathfinder is definitely the best because of the fact that he gets his ultimate cooldown by using them. So I obviously always recommend using Parthy. But if you've got someone in your team that runs Bloodhound, they can do it. You know, if you've got someone who runs Crypto, they can do it. It works easily. You don't have to base your team around Pathfinder if you don't want to, which is the good thing about the new changes to uh, the fact that, yeah, say Bloodhound and Crypto are involved in that. So yeah, definitely use those survey beacons as much as possible. Tip number four, take high ground as much as possible. Once again, I'm saying as much as possible. I felt like I said that quite a lot today. Um, but you need to make sure you are taking the higher ground. High ground always wins. High ground is the key to winning BRs. If you have the high ground on a team, you will end up winning, okay? It's 100%. Like it's like 99.9% .9 win rate. The thing is, if you don't take that high ground, then you do end up not winning the games. You don't end up winning your fights. That is why it's always key to take the high ground because it gives you that advantage. It's so much easier to look down on somebody than somebody look up. If you can obviously get a knock or something like that, then yeah, of course, then you could drop a down and have the fight. But I obviously always recommend you take the high ground because there's just so many advantages to doing it and there's so many positives to doing it. So please make sure you can take the high ground as much as possible, whether that's whether you're sitting in the end circle or whether you're having a fight or you're preparing for a third party or anything. Take the high, take the advantage, get the little head glitch going and you're going to be sorted. And my final tip for you, tip number five, 
don't have long range battles. Now, long range battles are basically, I'm not saying don't run a sniper, but I'm not saying that at all. I, do, I choose not to run a sniper, but I'm saying you, you could run a sniper if you want to. But it's when you have one of those pointless long range battles where you're just firing back and forth. And this happens quite a lot on World's Edge because I find that there's obviously, so say, there's a lot of high ground and a lot of low ground. And you end up having teams where you just have somebody sat up in maybe one of the, the towers, okay, maybe over at train yard, you know, sat at the top um, in the crate to the very top part. I forgot the name of them exactly, but yeah, it's, it's the top part. You know exactly what I mean. And um, people will just sit there and snipe each other. And it's the most pointless thing. You're, all you're doing is burning heels and you're burning your position. People are going to know exactly where you are. They're going to rotate to the noise. And the worst thing about it is even if you get a down, you can't really get the kill because you're having to still push from quite a distance. So you're not going to get there in time unless one of your mates has gone round, but then they can always get taken out of sniper. It's not worth the, the risk. I honestly don't recommend having long range battles on World's Edge at all. I say it gives away your position. It gives away the whole um, waste of heals. And I say, it, yeah, it's just not worth it. I honestly recommend you just do not do long range battles. Apart from that, guys, that is my five quick tips. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like button. Comment down below your tips for World's Edge. Honestly, whack them in the comments. Let me know if there's anything else you would recommend. And please subscribe your notifications on. Uh, apart from that, I'm going to run the rest of the video that you can see in the background right now. Me and Marco are running. Um, I'm just going to let it play out because, you know, there's quite a few good kills on there. But I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next video. I was already committed. Almost no kills. They're committed, they're committed. They're fucking bailing. Yeah, fair light in my door there. He's kicking hard.